Today, I wanna to share with you how to transform your photos into a cartoon in four easy steps. Make sure to download this image via a link in the description below. And if you're ready, let's do it. So step number one is selecting our subject and replacing the background with a new one. Let's start off by duplicating this layer. And I'm gonna call this Select Plus Mask. So we're gonna start off by selecting our background with the Fuzzy Select tool. I'm gonna to set my threshold to around six and make sure you have Draw Mask turned on and then click up here and drag down to add to your selection. Now, unfortunately, this is going to start making a lot of selections on our subject as well. So we're going to need to refine our selection with another tool. So once you have all of the background selected, go ahead and release and then navigate to the quick mask mode with shift plus Q or come down here and click right here to activate it. So anything in red is not part of the selection. And as you can see, we have a lot more to add to it. So let's grab our paintbrush tool with the letter P. I'm gonna go with a fairly large brush here. And then with black, I can begin painting over the areas that should be removed from the selection. And if you need to paint with white to add to the selection by removing the red overlay. Once you're done with the update for your selection, go ahead and hit Shift plus Q to deactivate the quick mask mode. And then go ahead and come over here and click on this little icon. And we're going to apply a layer mask based on the selection. And that should remove the background, which it didn't. So let's go ahead and deselect with Command or Control, Shift plus A, or go up to Select and click None from here. And then you're gonna slide over to Colors and click on Invert to invert the layer mask color. Now I see some transparency in here, so I need to go ahead and clean that up a little bit more. And I'm going to use my paintbrush tool to do that. And when I paint with white, I can then add back those details in the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit more here, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, before we go into the next step, let's go ahead and create a new layer. I'm just gonna call this background color, and we're going to add a new color. Let's go ahead and apply transparency first. And then for the color, I'm gonna go with this cream color right here. If you wanna use the same color, go ahead and apply this hexadecimal in this box right here. And then with your bucket fill tool, go ahead and fill it in. All right, so step two is the beginning process of converting our image into a cartoon. We're gonna grab our select and mask layer and duplicate it. Let's go ahead and right click and apply the layer mask. And then we're gonna go up to filters, artistic and select cartoon. For this, I'm gonna set this up to the maximum of 50 for the mask radius and one for the percent black. Go ahead and click OK. We're gonna add another white layer mask back because what I wanna do is I wanna clean up the skin so it doesn't look as blotchy or ragged as it does now. So let's grab our paintbrush tool again with the letter P and we're going to erase these little black dots all over her skin right here and we're gonna try and keep an outline around her nose and other areas as well. So let's start up here with the forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint around like so. And what we're going to do is we're gonna bring back a little bit of this detail in here with a lower opacity brush, just to add back a little bit of those little gray dotted grainy tones by dropping the opacity down and then painting with white with a couple of brush strokes here and there to add some of that back. Okay, I'm gonna go back to black again, and I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this just to help blend that in a little bit to create a little bit of depth. All right, I'm gonna go back to 100 now, and I'm gonna continue removing this grittiness around her face here on her cheeks, her nose, and all the way down here as well. All right, so step number three is enhancing the cartoon effect. 
And what we're going to do is grab our Select plus Mask layer. We're going to duplicate it, right click, and apply the layer mask. And then we're going to go up to Filters, Blur, and apply some Gaussian Blur of around 8 to 10. So whatever you think looks good. I'm going to go with 8.5. And, and I'm going to call this Gaussian Blur. And that's going to blur out the skin. So we can then apply the posturization, which is going to occur after we apply new from visible to merge all those layers into a new visible layer. And then let's name this Posturize. Let's go up to Colors and select Posturize from here. And let's increase this to an amount that you like. I think I'm going to go with, oh, I'm not sure, maybe 10, 12, 13. I think 13 looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Let's also change the blending mode to overlay. And then for step four, we are going to colorize and add some color tones to the jacket itself. So the first thing we're going to do is merge all the visible layers again. So right click new from visible and let's call this custom jacket. We're going to make a selection of the jacket with our free select tool. And I'm going to draw right around the outer edge of the jacket here, not including the background if possible. If you get a little bit, that's okay. And I also want to exclude her neck in this. So I'm going to go ahead and go on the inside here. And then we need to complete it by going back to the beginning. Once you see that yellow circle release and then go ahead and apply a layer mask again via the selection and right click and apply the layer mask. All right. So we now have our jacket on a separate layer. Let's go ahead and deselect and let's colorize it by going to colors, colorize, and then choose any color that you want. I'm going to go with this dark blue, but I'm also going to change the blending mode to pin light to create a nice colorized effect. You can also apply different types of blending modes based on your creative vision. If you want to create a highlight like this, go ahead and go with vivid light. And of course, you can always drop the opacity to tone it down if needed. All right, to continue elevating your GIMP editing skills, make sure to subscribe and check out that playlist for more GIMP special effects tutorials.